Good. Good. Not too tired from this morning? No. Good. What takes a good, a good nap? Yeah. Good. How was this morning? Huh? How was this morning? A little early? A huh? little early? Yeah. yeah. I'm not used to early morning lessons though, so it's not Oh, okay. 6 a.m. is a little too early for me. Good. Uh, pucks. Pucks right here. All right. You guys. So this is our, la like, our last main big conceptual or foundational thing I have for you guys. It's called smothering. So essentially what it's doing is eliminating all, eliminating the upper part of the net when you're on your knees. So. Seems obvious, but I'll break it down. So typically when people, like pucks really tight in front, everyone's natural instinct is to get tight. They don't want anything to go through them. There's nothing wrong with that. Except you're, you are exposing a lot of the upstairs. So when you take your hands, again, biggest part of our glove, yeah. Biggest part of our glove, biggest part of our blocker. If we come forward, so say the puck's here. If we come forward, we roll that wrist again, so similar to what we did in the short side shoulder, and we bring our blocker to the puck, or, our glove to the puck, we're going to eliminate everything upstairs. There's no puck angle. Our leg takes care of everything on the ice. Everything from 11 or 12 inches and above, that's on our hands. So again, like, so Max, you practiced it. It's not this, don't open up, let's come forward. So think about if this puck is here and you fall forward, you're gonna fall and have the face of your blocker on the puck. Or if you fall forward, you're gonna have your palm on the puck so that's the idea of it so that's how we know we're getting the largest surface area and this so if this puck goes side to side as you comes around that blocker doesn't change it's always the face of the puck always the face of the puck super simple it's again we're going to be breaking some habits so it's going to take time but you'll notice that when you're in front you're going to start making a lot of saves on the upstairs all you're doing is just reaching smothering with the hands not out to the side out and over all right, super simple. Okay, first one. So goalie is gonna start. Uh, and we're gonna have one guy right here, sort of like a back door. So Blake, you're gonna start on your knees. Um, right here. 
Square in this puck. Square here. Square. More. Good. So right here, uh, we have righties, eh? You're a lefty, so it's probably going to be you. So all you're going to do is you're going to step, and you're going to try to go bar down. Um, after that, go back to your post. Square up. You're going to get a pass. Yeah. You're going to get up to your feet. As soon as he's set, you pass back door. Now you have to slide and smother. And I want you, the shooter to kind of stay above the crease on this one. It's going this side. It's your glove. Smother with your glove. Yeah. Got it? Um, well, actually, we can all alternate because you can go back. You can go backhand. So take that shot. Open up here. And then on all of these, I want you going bar down. I'm gonna change it. I don't. I don't like this. I'm gonna change it. So first one stays the same, and then I get a pile of pucks here. Yeah. I want to just work just the blocker side. Good. First one stays the same. Make your save. So if you go back to the short side, post to post, out set to here. Now Jed, you're gonna. Or I'll pass, I don't mind. I'll pass. Same thing, short side, Jed. So it's all blocker. It's all blocker, yeah. That is not bar down. Yeah, it has to go bar. We're working on, we're working on our hands. So go bar down. Good. So real simple, I know you guys are up early. I just want you to get this foundation and the hands moving. Good. Three more. Snap the chest, chest was slow. Good. Last one. Good. This makes sense to you guys? Okay, good. It was good. I mean, hopefully it looks good on camera too, because that that's why I went to two double blocker side. Can you use pass? Yeah, you want to look? Yeah. I, I just want to watch him. Good. Good, there we go. Good smother. Good smother. Let's do it again. Do it again. Good. Remember, Max, there's a, there's a think that think about there's a string on this puck, and that string is attached right there. And so as that puck moves, that blocker moves with it. Yes. It's all right. It's all right. Good, better, better. Good.
Nice, Max. Two more. Good. Last one. Good. That was better. That was better. Good. You, after the first few, it got a lot better. And you'll see on video, like, we work, like Blake, we've been working on this forever. But again, he's small, so he really needs this. So when you go back and watch the video, watch out where Blake blocked through this in relation to yours and the first few reps, and then you adjust and you start making easy saves. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, smother. That arm's gotta extend. It's gotta extend. Remember, this is kind of this is a desperation save. First one's a rebound and tight. You don't have time to push, you have to eliminate with your hand and with your leg. Second one's a back door. Good. Nice. Extend, extend. Also, Mo, extend your leg too with it. That, that might help. So when you're down, as he comes to the side, think about smothering with that leg because you've got to seal the ice as well. Good. That was better. Now bring that blocker to his blade. Blocker to his blade, because that's where the puck's going to be. Yes. That's it. Two more, two more. Good, last one. Yes. Good, switch sides. Step off the post. Slightly, yeah, a little higher. P pass him up here. So I want him to come off the post and slide so he's going backwards a bit. Good. Good. There we go. Your glove move your glove moved to the side and not to his stick. Remember the puck has to go off his stick. So go to the stick. Well, it just didn't move, but it wasn't on the stick. There. Better. It's the same thing, like when you're on your knees stationary, your hand has to move independently of the, your whole body. So that same principle applies when you're sliding. Yeah. Your hand can move on its own. So don't feel like you have to be locked in in a robot.
Well, you were, you were sliding and it just wasn't moving. Oh, I feel like when I, when I slide and I find it. Yeah, but you weren't doing that. What was I doing? You were doing this. Gotcha. Easy. That's, that's, that part? Yeah, like, no, it was good. See, the thing is, is like, for you guys, yeah, and so the next drill, we're gonna go a little, like, more game speed, but for them, if they can have their glove like that in like a real game situation, high speed, a guy thinks he has upstairs and he, and he doesn't. And that's when like guys make huge saves, they're like, oh, how do you make that? When in reality, it's like this little tiny thing. Good. Two more, two more. That was better, it's getting better. Good, last one. Good. Good. That was better. Those other set, the last few sets were better. I see what you're saying. Yeah. You'll I like I was pushing out with a lot. You'll see it on video. Good. That's okay. I don't care if you catch it. This is a backdoor safe. If it bounces out, it bounces out. Good. What's up? As long as it's not in the net. Score, score. Score is the score. They get the hip going when you beat up the leg across. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Parallels. Yeah, he's very strong. Very, very strong. I bet he can front squat uh, 160 kilos. Yeah, but, but you're you're a mutant though. That's all right. That's all right. Think about getting the hand there first, not while you slide, as you slide. Good. Good track. Yes. Yes. Three more. That's it. That's what I want to see. Yes, much better, much better. Good, last one. Good, switch, much better, Max, much, much better. Good. Yes, good hands. That's it.
Yes. Nice. Mother, good. Not a net front guy, eh, Thorny? <laughs> good. Three more, three more, and then we'll pick up the pace a bit for the goalies, not for the shooters. Father, good. Last one. Three thirty. Nice. F one, F two. F one's gonna give it to F two. You're gonna catch it, and you can pick either side. As soon as he shoots, I want you or passes it. I want you to down. So you're not really skating to it. You're more like catching it and trying to go bar down. Try to go bar down this one. As soon as you make that, if you go to the shoot to the glove, I want you to go to the glove side, get up. And then I want you to, you can pick whatever side you want, but Jed, you now come down in tight, bar down. Like I said, I want everything for today high. I don't care if you score on the ice, just go bar down. Got it? Yeah, it doesn't count on the ice, only bar down. <laughs> Good. So no matter where you come from, whether you're coming from your knees, or you're coming from your feet, when it's this tight, you gotta smother with the hands. Like your legs will take care of everything upstairs, especially you, you got a wide butterfly. But everything from here down, or up, that's your hands. Play it however you want, just smother it with your hands. Like you don't have to slide. If you can beat it on your feet, beat it on your feet. Game like stuff. Good. New puck. Good. Make sense, Mo, this stuff? Better, you're good on your glove side. We gotta work on your blocker. But the blocker's awkward. Oh. Yeah. Everyone goes out, and that's why they get beat, right? Because even, look, where, like if your blocker's facing here, yeah, it's small, and you open up your arm. Whereas if you just, like, grab your stick tighter, like, grab your stick tighter, you just roll your wrist, it's this. This, this, there's no this, holes there. there's no holes, yeah. Good, and it's that simple thing, but like, it's not as supernatural feeling, yeah. and that's why you don't see guys do it a lot. You but, with your block, yeah, you, you normally you wanna angle it out. Yeah. But once you get, once you, once you know how to control your blocker in tight like that, like, you're gonna be surprised how easy it is in that front. Two more, two more. Good. What are you looking at me for? What's up? Yeah. No, I know. And like, that's why I don't hammer, like, I, I don't need to work on box control, you guys. Like, you'll see people on the internet just you see people on the internet and all they do for hours and hours and hours is box control. But like, box control is just kind of like, you should be doing it when you're 12. Oh, 
and they should ha never have to do it again. Yeah. Because also it's almost like the puck just never is released from there. Oh, you're just common sense. It's just common sense. Yeah. But it's good for kids. But good stick. I like it. But yeah, like the thing is, is you can box control all you want. But if your hands aren't moving in the proper direction, it's not going to matter. Oh, see, that's perfect, uh, that's perfect on video. Hey, uh, Max, blocker, smother it, smother it. You didn't smother, you blocked, not smother. What's up? Um, one thing is on some of those, some of the outpasses, like right there in the spot, they just felt like a little, I don't know, it felt a little weird to like just come out and just, you know what I mean? I don't know. I felt like I should almost just... But yeah, I keep my hands out, but more of a track. I know you're supposed to track. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to track a smother, but... I mean, a smother is... Like, again, smother is more for rebounds and slides. Yeah. But I, I just want your hands moving in the yeah, right way. Sure. And that's what I was looking at. So, like... So it was fine if on some of those other yeah, ones, yeah, I yeah. Just, it was more of yeah. a save. Play that how you want. Like that one. But, like, that one could have been a smother. Yeah, okay, I was just saying, yeah, something like in the slot. Yeah. I was getting a shot, and it felt just yeah. like I didn't need a smother. No, no, no. I'm okay. just trying to... Yeah, get just the get, yeah. idea of that. Yeah. I care... I, I honestly care more about the first shot. Yeah. Because now it's like there's a rebound, you got to scramble, than the second one. Second one's like, you know, that's a grade A+. plus. Patience. Two more. Good. Stick. Move to his stick, not his body. Move to his stick, not his body. Good save. Switch. Good. Good last set. better you'll see you'll see there's a few on video where like when they beat you your hands didn't really move but I mean it's against practice the one thing we're gonna have to work on is you're so strong that we're gonna have to add some like honestly like being able to control your strength so that you're not over pushing all the time and that's okay like it's, I'd rather that than have to tell Tyler to work you out harder and get stronger so this way, all we have to do is work on a little bit of control, a little bit of reads, and then you'll beat everything all the time, and that's, that's a good thing to have. Patience, patience, three more. Six puck goal line game, maybe? Yeah. Good. Last one. Good save. Six puck. No. No. Oh no. Zero for Crespi. <laughs> Tiled. Do you want me to get Logan out here? He'll score on you.
No. Finish it. Finish it. Easy money. Goalies are hot today. Let's go. No! One. Two. Finish it. Good. Thorn, crest me, rock, paper, scissors to see who moves on. Two goal challenge. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's rock, paper, scissors. Always been. Jed, you gotta go though. Yeah, you gotta go. That's <laughs> okay. One. Two. Jed's been playing this for so like three years. <laughs> yes. Three. Oh, hey, I thought you were dialed. Three. One. Thorny, you can go with Mo. And it looks like uh, Jab is the winner. Not a goal scorer, no.